The world places value on making money because money gives access to a lot of good things in life. If you have money, you can drive a good car, travel to any part of the world, eat good food, and enjoy all luxuries that money could afford. According to Huffington Post, people want to become rich to provide a special experience for themselves and the people they love, to be able to influence causes dear to them, and also to live a legacy in honor of what they believe in. The reasons vary and are quite endless. Some people want to be rich because of society's honors and admire wealthy people. The big question is, how does one become rich? Getting rich requires a lot of consistent hard work and sacrifice. This explains why not many people are rich. According to Forbes, there are only 2,095 billionaires in the world, but there are over 7 billion people in the world. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 9 things you have to sacrifice to be rich. 1. Your time. To be rich, you have to sacrifice a lot of your time. No one gets rich overnight. It is a gradual process that can take years. According to P.T. Barnum, money is good for nothing unless you know the value of it by experience. You'll have to dedicate your time studying money and how money works while your mates are doing other things. You will learn patience through a series of failed investments and acknowledge in your heart that it will not happen overnight. If you persevere well enough, in a few years, you would be glad you did. Getting rich is beyond getting a job. A job could be gotten in a week or a month. But getting rich takes time. Anyone who desires to be rich has to make this great sacrifice. 2. Comfort We all desire to be rich. But many of us value our comfort too much. According to Market Watch Post, to build riches, most rich people drove older cars, had modest homes, did not travel as much as they would prefer, and worked so much that it took away time for their social life or family. The pathway to riches appears to be a narrow one. Therefore, it may not be a pleasant thing for most people to have money and not be able to afford the things they want because they want to invest in the future. The future always appears very far off to many, and the indulgence of today, more important. But to become rich, you must place aside your comfort as a priority and focus your resources on long-term investing. 3. Your slumber The natural human tendency is to sleep when the body is tired. According to CNBC, Jeff Bezos gets at least 8 hours of sleep a day. Ariana Huffington, speaking to CNBC, also stated that she truly became successful when she started getting more sleep. Sleep is very important, but slumber is not healthy for a person with many goals. So, if you want to be rich, you have to check your resting period and maximize your working hours. Sleep only when tired. But what does it mean to be tired? Are we tired when we no longer feel like working? Or we are fatigued that our brains want to shut down? It does not sound like fun, does it? All rich and successful people had to work hard and they stuck to sleep and work routine for years before they became successful. Are you ready to give up your slumber to get rich? 4. Early Gratification On your journey to wealth, you must avoid early or premature gratification. A car might seem like fun right now, a Rolex watch or even a new pair of Nike shoes, but do you need them right now? Continually asking yourself these questions can help you keep your desires in check. According to Brian Tracy, American-Canadian public speaker, the ability to discipline yourself, to delay gratification in the short term, so as to enjoy greater rewards in the long term, is the indispensable prerequisite for success. Your present desires and your pursuit of riches have to be sacrificed for the future. If you delay gratification, you will eventually get what you want after all. According to Paul Coelho, we are all capable of achieving whatever we want and need. Early gratification can lead to mismanagement of your scarce resources, so you must avoid it at all costs. 5. The Current You If who you are right now is the best version of you, would you want to change it? Probably not. Many of us look at the rich and successful people around us and feel intimidated. If this is you, this video is for you. Let go of who you are and embrace who you want to be. You need to think of yourself in terms of a work in progress like software. Your current version needs updates and bug fixes. Your current version has not made you rich, so you need to accept it. There is no gain being dishonest to yourself. Evaluate yourself. What are your core weaknesses? 
How has it affected both the trajectory and quality of your life? How can you improve so that you can achieve your goal of becoming rich? According to the research by Harvard Business Review, when we see ourselves clearly, we are more confident and more creative. We make better decisions, build stronger relationships, and communicate more effectively. Having an understanding of who you are currently is a step towards becoming who you want to be. 6. Your Toxic Friends Who are your friends? Are they ambitious and hardworking people who read regularly, invest, listen to the news, and seldom have time for parties? Do they save a percentage of their monthly income? If your friends don't fit these descriptions, you may have to reconsider your relationship. According to American motivational speaker Robert Cheek, your friends may influence your decisions even more than your parents will. Friends can be toxic. If your friends are not actively making you better, you should be better off without them. It is common for successful people to cut down on their inner circle. Your inner circle should decrease in size but increase in value. The quality of friends you keep determines a lot of things. If you surround yourself with big dreamers, you too will dream big and do what is necessary. If your friends are all working towards being rich, they naturally would be putting the work required. And in extension, you will. Choose your friends wisely. 7. Starting a family early Starting a family is a big commitment. When one gets married, often it shifts the course of their lives in a different direction. You might agree with your spouse and move to a location less favorable to your business. Or you may start having children and more, making more expenses than you bargained for. In the journey of wealth, fully understanding yourself and your goals takes time. If you have done that, you're likely going to marry someone like you. Rushing into marriage could bring about unfulfilled dreams for most people and their bitterness is passed down to the children. To avoid all the troubles, it'd be best to take your time. Again, this is a sacrifice as well. Marrying the man or woman you love may seem like the most crucial thing in the world. However, if you are not financially stable when you settle down, you and yours are bound to disagree on more things than is necessary. 8. Your Hobbies On your journey to riches, if your hobbies don't support your goals, you'll have to give them up as well. Hobbies are time-consuming, and time is an asset. When you're building your wealth, your time should only be used for something productive. And unless your hobby is productive, which it usually is not, you have to forgo it for your goals. 9. Your sense of stability You also have to let go of your sense of stability. Growing wealth can sometimes mean moving to a new city and making multiple investments that will take up all or most of your cash. There is always something new to handle. And in the years of building, nothing will seem stable or constant. Persevering through these sacrifices will eventually give one the desired outcome they seek. Wealth is not easy to build. The sacrifices are many, but the reward is great.